Hello everybody, Bentley K here. Welcome to my channel and welcome to today's video. Today's video we are going to be testing out the new soda pop palette and we're going to give it a shot and I am going to kind of loosely follow um, Allie Glines tried it and her eyes turned out so beautiful that I thought, okay, that's what we're going to do. So that's what we're going to do. I am going to go in. I think we're going to use some of these new brushes I got from the um, Amazon haul. And we are going to start off with Cola Float. And Cola Float is this color right here. And she just put that in the crease. So that's what we're going to do. Kind of a windshield wiper thing going on. Pull it up a little bit. So that you'll actually be able to see it when I open my eye. No, it doesn't have a scent. I think the lemonade palette had a scent, didn't it? I can't remember now. I don't I don't think I really liked the lemonade palette though. And then she went in with Cherry on Top, which is this purple color right there, the darker purple. See, there's pink, and then there's Cherry on Top is right below that. And I am going to use a little bit smaller of a brush. I think this one is, this one's angled. That's what I'm going to use. I'm just going to put this on like the outer half. I really like this color. It's beautiful. Now I'm going to go back in with this brush that's got the cola on it and just blend that a little bit. The edge. Now I'm going to go in with my finger into this grape soda right there and put that all over the rest of my lid. Because I think it's beautiful, this grape soda is. I really like this color. Now I'm going to take a little pencil brush and take a little bit of that and pull it down towards the corner of my eye where my fingernail won't let me get to. I'm just going to pack it in here. And now I'm going to go in 
to this root beer, which is the darkest color in the palette. And I am going to add that to the, just the outer corner, just to give it a little more depth. Just a little bit. You don't have to go in very far. Just add a little bit. Just to give a little shadow there. And now I kind of got rid of all that darker purple out there. So, first I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take this. Oh, that was the root beer. I don't know if I showed you guys. Anyways, I'm going to go in with a little bit of this tonic. It's a sparkly one right here. It's right here. And I'm just going to take that on my finger and put it yeah, right in the center. I think I'm going to blend it first. I'm just going to take this brush that I had, that original um, transition color on, and then I'm just going to take this and place it right there in the center. Now I'm just going to take that brush again. Oops, not that one. This one. And just blend it a little bit. And then I think I'm going to go in with, because this is what she did and it looked fantastic, with this Nikki Tutorials, um, Master Chrome Highlight, and I am going to put this in my inner corner and under my brow. That's blinding, and we love blinding, don't we? Yeah, more blinding. Oh yeah, that's much better. I love it. Okay, now I'm going to spray my face. And I'm going to try this new Catrice Prime and Fine Dewy Glow. See how we get a dewy glow with this. a lot of dewy glow, huh? I had all the drawers open. I'm surprised it didn't tip over. Do this for a second, and then we're going to push it in. It's super dewy. It's got, like, pink sparkles in it. Definitely, I'm glad I'm pushing it in because it was bright. Yeah, I'm not sure I'm loving this dewy glow. Let's see how it looks when it dries. 
right now it's a bit more sparkle than I would normally want. It looks better already though just using this except for between my eyes still pretty sparkly there I do find sometimes that when I use a spray like that that sprays too much it makes my foundation move into the wrinkles right here that's okay we'll just go back in with some more powder what did I do with them oh I put them over here so we're just gonna take my powder and we're gonna go back into those lines take care of that because we don't want any wrinkles that's good all better oh I didn't do it between my eyes I don't know guys about that spray that may not be good for me okay let's go in with some eyeliner I'm gonna use the L'Oreal infallible pencil and I'm going to push line and to push line you just put your little finger on your eye and you push and then you write between your lashes so that no skin shows makes your eyelashes look so much fuller and then we're gonna go in with a flat brush and just move that around real quick before it dries to make sure there's no skin showing. And Allie Glines did not put a liner on, but I'm going to because I need to. I'm a lot older than her. Okay, I am gonna go off camera, do my lashes and lips, and I will be back. Okay guys, this is the final look for today. All I did was Lash Paradise on my eyelashes, um, on my lips, I used these two L'Oreal ones. They're the L'Oreal lip glosses, and one is Flamingo something, I can't read it. Oh, Polish Tango, <laughs> not Flamingo. Polish Tango and Shining Peach on top of it. That's what I have on my lips. And that is all I did when I went off camera was just put some mascara on and my lips. So, I forgot to tell you, I love it. I love the way the look turned out. Um, I think this palette is so much better than the Lemonade palette. Now, maybe it's just because of the colors. I really love these colors, and I thought I liked the colors in the other one, but I know that I didn't care for that palette. This one blends great. The colors are great. I love that grape soda. It's so beautiful. Anyways, definitely giving a thumbs up to the palette. Let me show it to you one more time. Soda pop. Grape soda. It's the bomb. But so are the other colors, and there are some colors that I still didn't try in here. I tried the best ones, how's that? 
Anyways, I am giving this a thumbs up. It is beautiful. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave. Follow me on Snapchat, Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. I love you guys. I appreciate you guys so much for watching my vi videos. Make sure you share this on all your social media. And I will see you in my next video. Mwah!